Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. Nace, I need your help. You're a human, correct? Back on your home planet Earth, right? Well, we're, we, we're, we're Gatlians, but, uh... Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a... In the confines of the... With a poisoner. He's not just po poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Chief officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see... But rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to... Wow, that, that, that's really helpful. Like, you, you're just giving it to us? We can't have dangerous... We absolutely do! Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. So much, Mr. Nugman. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you... Oh, uh, feel free to stay as long... Hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, not only that, he gave us a way to save humans. God damn. You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand, too. He's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Hey, yo, discerning customer, would you be interested in some quote-unquote food? Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine, I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Good day to you, food customer. Hello? Hi, is this Slippo's Pizza? I want a pizza now! I want it right now! Do you get me? Not in 30 minutes or less or whatever. I need it instantaneous! And I know we have the tech for that. Why are you still delivering pizza by foot? Just zap them to me. There's like 10 different ways you can do it by now. Portal door, work base, anything. I don't care. Just get it to me right now. Wait. Never mind. I'm not hungry. Bye. Careful, I'm contagious. Hey, you, 
got any uh, jetpacks in stock? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Okay, great. So where where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Fuck! God damn it. Okay, well let's let's just give Gene the update. Concession man, I've got illegal things for you. Come over here. You can buy illegal things for me. What's that guy yelling about? Illegal stuff? I is he talking to us? Here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You want it cum or what? Wait, hold, hold, hold the phone. What the fuck? You sell alien cum? I know it's gross, but calm down. My name is Stan, and I sell horrendous amounts of alien cum, and we're just gonna have to live with that knowledge together now. Why are you here selling alien cum? Is there seriously an actual market for that? I consider it policy not to ask my clients why they want the gallons and gallons of alien cum they buy from me. I figure the less questions I ask about what people are doing with all this alien cum, the better. So, are you buying or nay? Did we look like people that would want to buy alien cum? Sure. Look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me. But they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographic. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no, sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So what? what's it going to be? You want some alien cum or not? All right, uh, listen, we thought it over, and we'll take some alien cum. Whoa, look at you. You want some alien cum. I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off for free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all, all your me. friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Flam City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. Ah, looking for more alien cum, are you? Well, I'm sorry. I'm fresh out of alien cum right now. We sell out early sometimes. I gotta go restock my supply, and that's not so easy, trust me. But give me a little bit and I have plenty more. I promise. I just, I just need some recovery time.
Dad, trust me, okay? Michael, Michael, I'm so sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. We're gonna find you another body. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. So, uh, what kind of stuff did you do in here? Like, anything gross? Y you have to tell me. Like, seriously, come on. We're best friends now. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think, I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all of space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Next time. Nice! Okay, you can look away now. Bye bye. I'm done. Bye. Next time on Book at Me. Welcome to Pepperoni the Palace. I'm Pete the Pepperoni Salesman, and we are we today. We have a great special. Get over here! Come on! No, get over here! Sit down. Eat the pepperonis! Come on! Eat my pepperoni! Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack pro. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You could fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. You still don't understand. Telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. I'm so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Answer that. Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, right, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed-up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? 
<laughs> no, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew Grimble's family ailment or anything? Fuck off, date. Well, geez. I don't know why you're being so critical of me. I mean, I'm your own sister, and I'm the only human you've got left that's not getting smoked by giant space slugs. Wow. Yeah, uh, she's right. Real cold of you. Just kidding. She's wrong and you made the right choice. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Don't. Gary, I didn't mean to kill him. It's all right, Jill. It's all so perfect. It's so perfect. Here we are, you and me, just like it was meant to be. Times, the two of us alone, needing each other. I love you. Okay, well, no gear. Where are they? They're working at Scrindle Labs now. Just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful. That place is freaky. Thanks! I thought you were done with me! Not gonna let me take a break. Jetpack to good use. Nice, we're really flying, huh? Really cool, bounty hunter. Like we're really must be the right way because you know we we uh we we haven't gone this way yet, you know. Cartel headed this way. I'll fucking kill it. 
you. One of you little pieces of shit. I didn't know bounty hunters were such cowards. I'm ready for whatever's clever. I'll say it, the jetpack was a great investment. You know, I love it. Gus is in the house. Did you forget about my time, Bob? I'm good to go. I'm just getting warmed up. I love this damn jetpack. You ready, bounty hunter? Check out the lug locks. Sorry, I'm in the John. Hold, hold on, don't, don't pass through here. I've got to make you sign some forms. Just one sec. All right, enough of this. We're, we're opening the door ourselves. Hey, you, you haven't left yet, right? Because it's, it's really important I get you checked in. And it's also really important that I finish shitting. Okay, okay, actually, I'm having a really rough time. J -j just sit tight. You know, let's just tell everybody we killed them all. They'll, they'll, they'll believe us. Okay, okay, whew, okay, yeah, this isn't wrapping up anytime soon. Uh, hey, buddy, may maybe maybe you just want to take a nap? Uh, yeah, go ahead and just lie down on the floor and, and, and rest up while I, while I continue shitting. And, and then when I'm done shitting, I'll, I'll wake you up, okay? Uh, sound good? Thank you. Don't forget, you know, you, you can use those to launch yourself. Cause I sure am. Oh, I love it.
All right, Strindle Labs, dead ahead. Can we use that zip line to cross? I mean, like I, I, I know a little bit. I mean, I, I, I heard a bit, so, so I kind of know. But I, I'm just making small talk right now. You know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to fill the dead air. It's really uncomfortable. I mean, don't get mad at me if what I'm saying isn't that interesting, because you know, I'm, I'm doing my best here. You know. Hello, and welcome to Screnda Labs. Only authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. You gotta be kidding me, it's fucking Helen! Oh, you're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> we really appreciated that. But, sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. You're, uh, gonna set off the alarm. Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 are coming for you. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. I am a simple malpart. They pay me to tell them when intruders show up, so I do it. Oh shit, here they come. You know, hey, at least the elevators are working now. Uh, nobody's gonna miss you. You know, we make a pretty good team. Okay, yeah, that's right. We're trespassing. Hello again.
shit, okay, good, good job. All right, now let's take a look around this place, you know, let's see what kind of experiments they're doing here. This is our best human Fergal hybrid specimen. It may not be as cool as our subject in the weapons lab, but it's still rather beautiful, isn't it? We call it a Furman, or, or maybe a Hurgal. I, we haven't decided yet. Why am I telling you all this? You know, to be honest, it's because you look cool and a little bit badass, to be frank. It looks like a Fergal sitting on a dead human. Who's the scientist here, me or you, huh? What are they doing in there? Would you like to do the honors? We're going to try to show up those cocky nerds in the weapons lab by fusing this human with some other aliens. Just hit the button. Uh, no, you, you know, I, I don't think we're qualified to, to, to make that decision. Look, I can do it myself if you don't want to. I'm just trying to be nice. Are you fucking kidding me? Hmm, that wasn't supposed to happen. They died! What the fuck are you doing? Well, why, why'd you press the button, bounty hunter? Okay, well, that's unsettling. really supposed to be here if you're not part of the G3, but, you know, it's fine. Holy shit, what are they doing to them? Are, are, are they dead? I'm sorry if this was one of your friends, Bounty Hunter. I, I bet it was one of your best friends. That's what, I just get this weird feeling, you know? I bet it was one of your best friends, no? The Scrandle Brothers are very smart, capable brothers. They're not messy or weird. They're doing important science here, trying to figure out if you can clone stuff and uh, make aliens have babies faster. For the better man, all of life. Sheesh, whoever works here really needs to get their shit together. What a mess. Hello, Jonathan. It's Dr. Gurgula. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human genome. Oh shit, that's Gatterall. Fe feed me some of that. It gives me more energy. It gives me energy back to do more cool shit. Comprehend what you're looking at. But I promised Garmantua as I'd provide them. And now please don't contact me again. I'm busy. This Dr. Gurgula guy creeps me out. Oh god, are those Gatlians? I think I'm gonna be sick. Wait, I think that one's alive. Fuck! Nice. My name's Creature. The bad guys did experiments on me and fucked my yeah. G3 bastards. Creature, we're taking on the cartel. You want in? Oh, no, no, no. They take good care of me. Holding me against my will, cutting me open. You know what? Say it out loud. I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah. Welcome aboard, uh, Creature. That, 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh, hey, we're locked in, but that's fine. 
Don't freak out or anything. I can give birth to a bunch of little freaks and they can disable the door lock. It's fine. Ah, beautiful. Look out one of my little fuckers just sitting in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling, actually. But I'm numb to it. Oh, look who missed me! Uh-oh, did someone order some Sweezy? Oh yeah, that's one of my children! They die fast! Don't- Hey! I don't want to be annoying! Ah, uh, who are these cute critters? Oh. How's it going? This is gonna hurt getting a weapon grafted to my arm. You're gonna graft a Gatlian to my arm, and that's gonna be I'm obviously down to do it. I'm just a little scared that it's gonna hurt a lot, and that I'm also gonna regret not being able to use my hand in the normal way. Can you do my right arm? I'm left-handed, so if you do my right arm, it's actually gonna be a problem because I, I'm left-handed, so I, I shoot with my left hand. So if you do my right arm, I might not be able to shoot as well. This is bad. This is probably... Okay, let me, just let me think, let me think. I don't know, I don't know if I want to go through with this this way. Uh, maybe, maybe I can just work the desk. I don't have to be a shooting guy, you know? I can just, I can just be the desk guy. I can take stuff in. Shooters! 
I can, I can, I can fight too. Let me help. Do not forget to use my triple. They can make a bad guy fight for us. That mind control. Yeah, shithead. Hey, Brian, how you doing? You think I'm gonna answer your questions? <laughs> I would so shoot you right now if I wasn't strapped to this operating table. Outside? Oh, I can help you with that little hook bow oh, again. Look at my little guy in there rustling up the hive. Isn't that cute? I'm so proud of him. Nick. Hey, man, this is fun. Do you do this sort of stuff all the time, bounty hunter? friend. 